Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Cold medicines be gone. A panel of FDA advisors say over-the-counter decongestants may not work and therefore need to be reclassified. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamlani has the story. And what particular ones are we talking about, Anjali? So it's not all nasal decongestants, but those that have the ingredient phenylephrine. And that's a, a, an ingredient in these products that has actually been a, a controversy for quite some time. Dating back to even 2007, the FDA, actually the same advisory group that met today, met then, of course, different members at the time, and discussed the same problem, the ineffectiveness based on some studies of this ingredient in those products. So what we know now is that while they are safe to use, uh, the evidence does not necessarily support the effectiveness of, of it, especially in oral form. So that includes, uh, you know, companies like Vicks, um, or rather products like Vicks, Tylenol, Benadryl, Robitussin, Bayer products, um, even those uh, off-brand uh, ones for CVS and Walgreens, all of those nasal decongestant products that are oral, so pill form, are the ones that really are a part of this effort. Uh, the nasal spray still remains unimpacted by this, as does pseudofedrine, which is the key ingredient in Sudafed. Now, where does this all get confusing is that uh, we did see also pseudofedrine get a little bit of pressure back in around the same time frame in 2006 because of its abuse in use in making meth. And so that was put behind the counter. So what this really does is limits access for patients who need a nasal decongestant around this time of year, winter. And so that's sort of what uh, has really caused the concern around this potential decision. The FDA has been looking at data since around 2007. They approved phenylephrine around the late 1970s at first. Uh, and even then there's some there were some indications that some uh, you know, some studies may not may have shown it to be ineffective, but we have seen that, you know, even globally, because of the concerns, makers around the world have switched from phenylephrine to pseudofedrine. So it really is, uh, or rather the other way around, in order to avoid, you know, that abuse. And so it really has been a long sort of storied history there, uh, as you can see on your screen, just that timeline of approval through concern really in the last two decades of this uh, uh, product, of this key ingredient. And while, it, uh, again, it isn't dangerous, it just isn't effective. So they could be moving to take a lot of product off the shelf uh, just in time for this winter season. It would be nice if people stop wasting their money on it, though, if it doesn't work. But also, I mean, you would think they would have come up with a better mousetrap by now for to treat the common cold. I know it's a tough one. 